Sometimes there are these things that happen in our reality that make us question just what really is going on and what exactly is our reality and if we are fully perceiving it as we see it. One of these is the phenomena of doppelgangers, a complete double of you that may or may not exist in this world. If we never come across these doubles, it's not even a thing that would concern us, nor would it if anyone we knew didn't come across them. However, when they do cross our paths, or our loved ones pass, then the weirdness infects our mind, confusion, wonder, superstition can all fill our heads and those of our loved ones. What does it mean that there may be a double of you? There's only a 1 in 135 chance that a single pair of doppelgangers exist on our planet of more than 7 billion people. These doppelgangers are not twins, but it is said that they share genetic similarity in both physical features and some behavioral features. The idea is that there may exist a carbon copy of you somewhere in the world, someone who acts and looks just like you, a concept that is often difficult to accept or visualize. I myself have my own doppelganger experience. I lived in one neighborhood in a large city for a good chunk of my life, and it was here and only here that the, ex the experience of my doppelganger happened. At the time, I had a girlfriend who had an apartment a half block away from mine. I would stay at her place about 95% of the time. There was nothing much around directly in the hood, as it was mostly residential, but there was a Starbucks across the street, one that I never went to, say perhaps one time at the time of the story. There was one small market up the street and a pet store. Other than that, it was strictly residential with all the shops and things a little further down towards the city center. Now, this all started when some of my best friends would say they saw me somewhere in the neighborhood, to which I said, and that wasn't me, because I was somewhere else when they said they saw me. With my close friends, I figured seeing me at a distance, they just mistook someone who slightly looked similar to me. I didn't really think much of it at the time. It wasn't until one morning while I was at work, I received an angry text message from my girlfriend of three years, asking me, what's wrong with me? To which I replied, what are you talking about? She wanted to tell me how she just passed me on the street and waved at me to get my attention and started talking to me. She asked me why I just pretended to not know who she was while I was texting on my phone and walked right past her. Now, needless to say, she was pretty mad and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, babe. I'm at work and I have been for the past two hours. To which she did not believe me. She was so sure that she had just seen me that we had a big fight about it. Now, this is when I started to believe that there might be a doppelganger in my neighborhood. If someone you're extremely intimate with can't recognize you, your walk, your mannerisms, your look, then you know the person might be a dead ringer, not only looks, but everything physical, including the way they move or uh, ticks or the way they dress. Now, the Starbucks across the street from her place, uh, like I said before, I'd maybe went in one other time. I certainly was not a regular by any stretch of the imagination. And one day I went in to get a coffee because I think we were out of coffee at her place and mine. And I needed one. I go in and I'm greeted by the baristas. Multiple ones, like they recognized me. Which was strange. They made familiar conversation which made me scratch my head and probably seemed like an odd reaction to them. It was then I wondered, maybe they're the baristas from the Starbucks I go to while at work and that they're covering in this store. But then I didn't recognize any of them. They asked me then where my dog was, and I was like, my dog? I don't bring my girlfriend's dog in any store with me. And they replied, no, you always bring your dog in here with you. And I was like, I've only been in here one other time. They looked at me funny and said, you're kidding, right? You come in all the time and order they said a drink and I was like, no, I only ever get a black tall coffee. They then realized maybe I wasn't the same person, but they had a very confused look on their face and said, well, there's someone in the neighborhood that looks exactly like you. 
who comes in here all the time then. And that's when I really got weirded out. I had a few moments during both these situations where I wondered, am I living a double life and don't know it? Do I mentally block out big chunks of my time and have a whole other life that I wasn't aware of? It was a really mind warping event. To think that there's an exact replica of me, physically, that lived in frequently frequented places in my neighborhood, in a city of two million people. I just found the odds too impossible to fathom that even if I had a doppelganger, that he would be in that very same neighborhood, in that very same city, and all the places he could exist in the world. I still to this day have trouble wrapping my head around it, especially since after that incident. I never heard about him or had an experience like that since which in its own way is even more bizarre and more making me think that it might have been all in my mind somehow. Like somehow my awareness made the doppelganger disappear. More paranoid thoughts creep in. Was I somehow going to be swapped out with this person? What was actually happening? If we were to look at it even from a simulation perspective, we could see a weird glitch where two alike characters were generated in the same area by a fluke algorithmic happenstance. Now, doppelganger in German means double goer. In German folklore, a wraith or apparition of a living person. But this idea of an exact replica existing for every person exists widespread throughout cultures. Fyodor Dostoevsky, or Old Dusty as I like to call him, wrote about this in his story The Double in 1846, in which the main character encounters the double, who has everything he wanted and the double ends up replacing him and disposing of the original character. A fear that did pop up in my head during my own encounters, I will admit to. Since this has been around for centuries in many cultures, seeing or coming across your doppelganger was an omen of bad luck or misfortune. But these days there's less of that. It seems like they just seem to go about their business as if they're normal humans, as mine did. Again, one has to think about the possible simulation theory and wonder if this was just a random generated character put in the wrong place in this simulated world. Now there's another concept that is worth mentioning that could possibly fit with my situation called bilocation, a psychic projection of yourself in every detail that can appear in another place and can even interact with other people. However, there's been an interesting turn in this phenomenon in recent times, where in the past, even recent past, it was a sign of bad luck or strangeness. In this more ultra-modern world of technology, there are more than 10 million people act actually searching for their doppelganger. Maybe in a disconnected social world, this is a form of ultra-connection, like having or discovering your own twin existing elsewhere, which of course does and has happened. It also occurred to me that my own doppelganger may have been a long-lost twin, and might be the least strange circumstance around living in the same neighborhood as me in the same city. But how can it be that you have a doppelganger at all? Well, science has done some research on this and have concluded that not only do the doubles share similar genes affecting the face, but also some phenotypes of physique and behavior, indicating that differences in epigenome and microbiome, microbiome contribute modestly to human variability in appearance. Okay, so these doubles share similar genes and we know we are all related to each other on some and some could be closer related than others down the line. But how exactly two people could share such a combination leads one to the simulation theory again. Why is it that there is limitations and so much sharing when that seems like what video game coders would do in order to lessen the graphical or computational power needed in rendering or running a game? Or in this case, a simulation. Genetic variation in species ranges from 0.1% to 10% with humans falling in the most homogeneous character of 0.1% and across the spectrum find less variation between individuals versus that of other species. So one might conclude that this may be why as humans we've been evolutionary bottlenecked since our last rivals went extinct. But the most genetic variation consists within a race of people or group of people of a particular area. So one might think that it would be more unlikely to get a doppelganger within the same grouping as opposed to another. So it can both point to genetic variation argument and point away from it. The statistics say that it 
isn't unlikely, but statistics get more difficult to say this if one adds in coming across your doppelganger now, because now time, location, routine, behavior all have to coincide with this meeting or coming across them. Now, the more outlandish theory would involve clandestine cloning and the replacing of certain individuals or the possibility of replacing people if they get too close to a particular truth that isn't allowed to be revealed. But in reality, there is no proof of anything like that happening and would be wildly speculative to suggest such a thing, though the idea is a fun one to think about. In reality, I can't really be sure what to think of this. It does make me tend to lean to the simulation theory as the most probable explanation. Each topic we explore tends to move us towards us being in some sort of simulation than not. And I haven't even talked about the concept of bio a biological simulation rather than a computer generated one, a topic I would like to explore more in another video. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Well, this is one of those topics that I don't really have a good final conclusion or answer to nor can I relate it to some deeper meaning or significance. It's just a thing that seems to occur and seems to be random and have no meaning. At least not one that I can ascertain. But I don't know. What do you think? Do you think there's something more to this that I didn't cover? And if you do, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions on this. Now, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out a small channel like this one and I'll talk to you next time.